Hello and welcome to the Nelson Math Focus 6 podcast. I'm Mr. Burko from St. John Fine Arts School. This is Chapter 6, Lesson 4, Percents as Fractions or Decimals. Our goal today is to relate percents to equivalent fractions and decimals. What that means is you're going to learn how to describe something as a percentage or as a fraction or as a decimal and see how they're all related. In our textbook on page 192, it says, in 2004, Canadians recycled about 27% of their household waste. This percent has been increasing. What percent of trash might Canadians be recycling now? Mai is a character in our textbook, and she decides to use a hundredths grid to represent 100% of the trash. I'm using a hundredths grid here, but you can't really see the grid. This square with the recycling bin represents 100, or a whole and I'm going to color in 27 squares on my hole. So here is a bar of 10, another bar of 10 which makes 20, and a bar of 7 which makes 27. So what that means really is 27% is 27 out of 100. In question A, we are asked what fraction represents the part of the grid that is colored? Well, that's quite easy to figure out when you're using 100%. A fraction is 27 over 100. We can't really reduce that fraction anymore, so we're going to leave it as 27 out of 100. Question B is, what decimal represents the part of the grid that is colored? The decimal that is represented by this colored part is 0.27 or 0.27. We can also describe this number as 27 hundredths. Question C is what percent of trash is not recycled? Explain. I'd like you to think about how you would go about finding the solution to this problem. If you said subtraction, or if you thought subtraction, then you're right. 100 minus 27 will give us the answer to how much trash was not recycled. 73 is our answer when we complete this problem. That means that 73% is not recycled in 2004. Question D is, how do you know that Canadians recycled more than one quarter of their trash in 2004? Think about how you would figure this problem out. If you're thinking of money, then you're bang on because one quarter or a quarter and change is the same as 25 cents or 25% because a quarter is 25% of a dollar. We know that if 25 is less than or if 27 is greater than 25, then we'll see that obviously uh, we recycled more than one quarter of the trash in 2004. In question E, what portion of their trash might Canadians be recycling now? Express this value as a fraction and as a decimal. Why did you choose this value? Well, we need to choose something, and you could choose a number of different things that you think we might be recycling now, but right now I'm going to say 30%. It's just a guess, but we've probably increased over the last few years, and uh, it may be more than 30%, but we're going to use 30% because it's an easy number to work with. 30% is the same as 0.3 or 3 tenths. It's also the same as 30 over 100. In question F, why is it easy to change a decimal such as 0.37 into a percent? Well, the reason why it's easy to change this type of, of decimal into a percentage is because 0.27 or 0.37 in our example in the textbook is the same as 27 hundredths, which is the same as 27%. If there was any more digits after the 27, then it would be a little harder because we'd have to round it. But it's still 27% and 27 over 100. Our last question is, why is it helpful to think of 0.6 as 0 0.60 if you want to write it as a percent? Well, the reason why is because 0 0.60 is also 60 over 100. 